I am now joined by Troy Kotzer. Hello, good to see you. And congratulations on your BAFTA nomination. Thank you so much. It's my honor to be here today, to cross the sea for this award ceremony. It's wonderful to be recognized, and I feel truly blessed to be here to celebrate the arts, especially with the BAFTA family. It's, I'm so excited to be here. Oh my goodness, I mean, Calder has just been so well received. It's got three BAFTA nominations, including your own tonight. How does it feel to have a film like this being so well recognized? I feel that the coda of, our film coda has had such an impact especially because there's been a gap and a separation between the hearing world and the deaf world, mm. and something was missing. And so our film f is a perfect center, which provides a bridge between these two worlds to really bring them together and make that connection. And finally, hearing folks are able to experience our world and we're able to experience their world. And so CODA has a wonderful impact in that way, and that's how we're able to reach out to such a broad audience with our beautiful story, with a positive message, not to forget your family, not to forget mm. how much your parents love you. And when the time is right, parents need to let go of their children, which is quite touching for many people. Oh, Do you have children? I don't have children. I, I have a daughter who's 16 and I'm not ready to let go of her. She'll be graduating school soon. You know how I feel. So be prepared. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, that, did you bring some of that emotion to the film called? Yes, definitely. It was a massive benefit for me because I could relate based on my real life story having a hearing daughter. And so really I was able to make that connection with my character and it was such an amazing journey. Wow, it was, it was really beautiful. And it looks like you're well enough now even, but hold back your tears because I've got to congratulate you on your Screen Actors Guild Award, which you just recently received. And you are the first actor, uh, the, the first deaf actor to receive this award. It must be just amazing to be receiving such recognition and, and like you say, about time that the two worlds, the hearing and the non-hearing, coming together. Yes, that's exactly how I feel. When I received the SAG Award, I was able to make connection because I'm a part of the SAG family. We're all actors, we're all artists and I'm looking forward to working with, with these actors and this is a new chapter for me. Absolutely. And in this new chapter, as part of BAFTA, who are you most excited to see in tonight? I'm extremely excited to meet the cast of Power of the Dog and Belfast. Yeah. And, you know, especially many of those folks being from the UK. And I'm excited to meet Amelia Jones being in her hometown and her family and relatives are here. And so I'm really looking forward to meeting all of them. Oh and so, God. you know, CODA made that connection and we're able to cross the seas and bring our message over here and really to reach out to, to your audience. So it's great. It really is brilliant. And again, congratulations on such a beautiful and powerful performance in CODA. And good luck with the BAFTA tonight. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to tonight. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. See you there. And thank you, Justin. You're welcome. <laughs>